Welcome back to the workshop. Today we're gonna turn this lame old drill press into this working lathe. Let's get started. The first step is to make the tailstock quill. I took an 8 inch carriage bolt and ground it down on my belt grinder in a twisting motion until the point formed. Next I made the chuck. I used my angle grinder to cut the head off of a bolt. Then I cut down the center post of a T-nut so that way the prongs on it would engage with the workpiece without having to drill out a hole. A little bit of filing and it was time to make this thing a lathe. The tool rest is another long carriage bolt. I use fender washers to keep tension on everything. Then just bolt down the tailstock quill and the tool rest. Chuck up the lathe chuck and the drill press chuck. Make sure the tailstock quill is centered and then tighten everything down. And it's time for this thing not to work. I thought maybe the teeth on the T-nut were too short, so I made them longer. Close, but no cigar. I tweaked it a little bit, but nothing really worked, so time for a new plan. I tried screwing a screw in and using that, but that was a hard no. I tried super glue, but that didn't even try to work. Finally, I cut the head off another bolt, found the center of a piece of wood, and then drilled a hole the size of the bolt. Then I centered a piece of stock, traced around it, and chiseled out a mortise to hold the wood. A quick check to make sure everything was centered, and voila! A working lathe. All right, thanks for watching. Um, it's not perfect yet. I've got a few more tweaks to make, especially this tool rest. Uh, got to figure out something for that. It's a little short. Anyways, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, in my next episode, I'm going to make the final tweaks to this, and you'll see what I'm using this for. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.